It is the moment you've all been waiting for. Grab a coffee, get comfy. It's Sarah all time. Hey! Hey everyone, I hope you're okay. Welcome back to my channel and hello to a brand new video. Today, you guys know exactly what this video is and I'm bringing you a good old August Zara haul. Now, I feel like it's not actually been that long since I did my last Zara haul and it sort of got me going. I have got the Zara bug. Like, I'm now finding myself checking their website constantly and just wanting every single thing inside. Anyway, before I do a new haul for you because there's loads of newness and I'm actually going on holiday in October and I just feel like if there is any summer bits that I want, now is the time to get them because we are fastly approaching autumn, which means goodbye summer clothes. So anyway, sit tight, get comfy. I'm gonna jump straight into this video. So if you wanna see what I picked up from Zara, then please continue watching. Okay, so when I said I went in on Zara, your girl went in. <laughs> Big time. Honestly, I need to not like some of these clothes because I think I spent around about 700 pounds. <gasps> Oh my god, that literally makes me feel sick even thinking about that. A few items were around the £100 mark, so that's why it has boosted this haul up. I don't intend on keeping absolutely everything, so let's pray for me that some things don't fit and I don't like them. <laughs> Else, yeah, it's going to take a slice. Okay, so we're going to jump straight into the goodness, and I'm going to start with possibly my favourite jeans in my wardrobe currently, and that is a statement, but oh my goodness, I am so obsessed with these jeans. Now, admittedly, they were a little bit of a risque purchase, like I just didn't know how they were going to fit, what they were going to look like. Um, and I've got them up, what they're called. They're called this slouchy darted jeans in light blue. I got these in a size six and they're otherwise sort of known as balloon jeans. So they've got that sort of like baggy, oversized, slouchy sort of shape to them. Rolled them up at the ends and oh my God, guys, the fit on these, the fit on these is absolutely insane. They are like in the running with like joggers comfy wise. Like they are so freaking comfy. Do you know sometimes how you can wear jeans and they'd be like a little bit tight, a little bit, not the comfiest of things to wear, but oh my God, these feel so relaxed, so comfy. They fit amazing. I got them in a size six. The waist fits lovely, the length's lovely. I'm obsessed, they're only 29 99 and I guarantee these will be your new fave pair of jeans if you get these. I just think they look so effortlessly chic. And then to go with that, you know I love myself a sort of jean and graphic tee combination. I feel like every time I shop on Zara, I have to pick up a new graphic tee because they always bring out the best Disney tees ever. And this time I picked up this Disney tee, which simply says Disney princesses. And um, it's sort of like a magazine front cover with the Disney princesses on. I adore this so, so much. I got this in a size medium i always get my graphic tees like a size up so they're sort of like slouchy and baggy um, and a medium does that job for me it was 15.99 it's in sort of like a gray base and uh, yeah absolutely love that looks amazing with the jeans okay so next thing i picked from sarah was a good old lbd i feel like an lbd is just an absolute classic for anyone's wardrobe there's so many ways you can style them up and that's why i just feel like they're always a very good timeless piece to have in your wardrobe you can dress them up you can dress them down this was admittedly a very pricey piece but for me it was just a little twist on like a classic just plain lbd um and it is this black dress so let me just quickly run you through the dress so it's got spaghetti straps which i absolutely love the straps fit lovely on i just want to clarify that because i do normally have issues with straps and it just goes down to this beautiful sort of like strappy mini dress it's got all this beautiful like pleated sort of like layers to the dress and oh my god on oh, this sort of like looks like a skater dress got like a little bit of a puffiness to it and it's just so so stunning it's so flattering and i just love the belt as well i think it's just like a real nice statement belt to the dress and like i said it's just that dress where i feel like you could really dress it up for the evening but also dress it down for the day i actually styled this with a black blazer and trainers and it looks so pretty so yeah although it's pricey i feel like you could definitely get so many different looks out of this dress and it fits stunning so yeah sort of a winner for me next up this is actually going to blind you but i walked past this in the store and was like something was just drawing me to it you know when you walk past something and it just 
be drawn to it and I just couldn't help but be drawn to such a bold statement dress so I thought I'd just get it try it on see what I was thinking because like I said I do have a holiday in October and I want some really nice evening attire I thought this could look absolutely stunning so it is this sort of fuchsia blazer dress how pretty is this so as you can see she's in a gorgeous floral print the quality of this is just insane like I really want to stress this I feel like this could actually be sort of like a autumn dress as well I mean I know it's quite a bold and colourful print but it is quite thick definitely not a thin dress like it the quality is really there it's quite thick very structured very good quality i also like as well that it has a fabric belt so you can cinch you in i haven't actually tried this on yet so i'm going to try it on and include a clip so yeah we'll make our minds and opinions up there now this is where the crunch hurts it is 99 pounds and 99 pence so 100 pound for a dress a lot of money so i feel like it has to be something spectacular on in order for me to keep it. Um, and also for reference, I got this in a size small just because it is a blazer and it's got a belt. I wanted to go a size bigger because I didn't want it to be overly, you know, tight. Moving on to the next dress, which again is another blazer sort of style dress because you guys know I just love that sort of blazer style. Um, and it is this pink dress. I just love myself some pink at the moment. I really have been drawn to pink a lot. And again, I just think it's one of them colours that when you wear on holiday, so stunning push you in a good mood you know my vibe and as you can see just a beautiful pink sleeveless blazer dress sort of crossing it over got a little bit of a plunge neckline then it's got again a beautiful black fabric belt to sort of cinch you in also has pockets on either side yeah really like the look of this again i got this in a size small and this again was a little bit pricey this was 59.99 but again with being zara it is really really good quality it does feel so lovely moving on to another piece of occasion wear now now this you'll be happy to know is a lot more pleasing on the bank account this was only 15.99 and it is just this gorgeous light khaki satin strap dress so it's quite a basic to be honest with you but I just feel like sometimes these basic little satin dresses can end up just being such a stunning outfit um, it's got adjustable straps and I got this in a size small I just thought with a pair of heels a nice little clutch bag could be a really cute evening outfit the next two things I got were sort of things that I wanted to combine together as an outfit so I'm going to show you the shorts first because I feel like these are sort of like what makes the outfit so I picked up these beautiful snake print shorts they're in sort of like a black mix with grey and sort of like a creamy colour um, and if you have followed me and been here for a while you will know that last year I had the most stunning two piece co-ord from Zara and it was in this sort of snake print colour and print and oh my god I was obsessed with it so I wanted to sort of still have that print incorporated but in a whole different way it's really attractive to these they do these in like a beige colour as well these are 25 99 I got these in an extra small very simply just a pair of floaty shorts they've got a um, tight waist as well which I really really like and they're also elasticating sort of got that paper bag detailing so I thought they would be really nice I don't know whether I should have got a small or not but we will see when we try them on and then very simply all I thought I would style those with is just a white shirt I got this white not front shirt so as you can see it's sort of ties up at the front so it's not your standard sort of like waitressy shirt you know it's something a little bit different and a bit more like goey outy if that makes sense so again this was 25.99 and like i said i just thought this combined with them would be a really cute outfit okay so i thought i'd just come and speak on this one because oh my goodness i've been trying to like tuck in style this shirt for so long now and it's an absolute nightmare i really really don't like it so i thought i'd just come on and quickly just talk you through it like it's a size small and it's just the most i don't know like oversized baggy unshapely shirt ever like how they've got it to look how it does on the model nice clutch pair of heels and yeah jobs are good one. i do not know because she looks quite a skinny girl and i just don't know how they've got it they've obviously pinned it like, that's all i can imagine because i played around with it it keeps coming out i've talked to it i've done everything and it looks absolutely freaking awful so yeah such a shame because i did actually think like a really nice shirt would look nice tucked in with these sort of shorts i absolutely love the shorts they're really really nice little little bit short i maybe could have got like the small and hopefully they'd have been a little bit longer so i probably would 
swap these and get the small just because I'd like a little bit more length in the length. Um, but yeah, shirts are massive no knife. The shorts I do really like, they're nice and floaty. The next thing I picked up for evening was actually a bit of a shocker because I didn't actually quite believe that this was so cheap for what it is. Like I feel like this dress looks so much more expensive than what I actually paid for it. And it is this gorgeous little fringe dress. So it's in a sort of mink colour. Um, whatever that that means <laughs> but i'm sure you can probably see on the camera i would say it's like a it's like a gray like a gray color to be honest with you um it's just so so pretty this was 25.99 which i just thought was an absolute bargain again it's a little bit more statement -y, but i just really liked it i thought it was something a little bit different um, and i thought this would look so so stunning for the evening again little pair of heels a clutch bag like i said just something different but i was so surprised with the price of this because i feel like it looks so much more expensive than 25.99 um, i got this in a size small um i didn't have an extra small i would normally take an extra small in dresses but you know what sarah's like i feel like sometimes their sizes are a little bit annoying <laughs> um so yeah i'm hoping this fits the straps do look quite small so Keep fingers crossed for me and let's make this looks nice on. Okay, next up I picked up a pair of white shorts. I have been feeling like all summer I have been missing a pair of like white fabric belt shorts. I had some last summer, I must have sold them and I really regret doing it. So when I saw these on Zara's website, I was so pleasantly surprised and very happy to see them. Um, and yeah, this is what they look like. So they're just a simple white pair of sort of high-waisted paper bag shorts. Um, and they also have like a turned up hem line and a fabric belt. Everything that I want in a pair of shorts. I got these in a size extra small. Sorry, I have to keep looking at my phone for the price because they've done it in euros on the tag. So I can't translate. Um, $25.99, which I didn't think was a bad price. And they're such good quality. Like I wish you could feel the quality of these. They are really nice fabric quality. So yeah, I just think like a pair of white shorts will just go with everything. Um, I know it's sort of approaching late summer now, but with me having a holiday, hoping to get some wear out of them. So yeah, got them. And they will last for seasons upon seasons. Like they never go out of fashion. Okay, next up, moving on to a black blazer. Now, I own a fair few black blazers, but I feel like it's always really good to invest in that one amazing blazer, like that one high-end expensive but you're gonna get so much use out of it it just goes with everything blazer you know what i mean so i've been having my eyes on this for a while from zara it is pricey but like i said if i'm gonna wear something over and over again i can justify it and i feel like with a blazer it is one of them items that you do wear frequently so i picked up this gorgeous long line sort of like oversized black blazer very very simple it's got like black buttons on either side this was 69.99 i got this in a size small so i upsized from an extra small to a small just because i like to wear my blazers slightly oversized absolutely love this it's just a classic blazer there's not really a lot to say about it there is matching trousers to go with this which is sort of like flare bottoms i didn't get them i actually got some other bottoms to go with it so I picked up these bottoms. Now these are $25.99, I'm gonna say. Got these in a small, they only run from small to large. And they're these black pleated bottoms. I just thought these were something a little bit different. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them that well with me just hanging them up and showing them like this. So I am gonna try them on. But yeah, they actually did style these with the blazer of the top and it just looks so chic, so classic, so classy, just really, really stunning. So yeah thought i'd try these trousers out because i'm always on the hunt for a nice pair of black trousers again just something that you can have in your wardrobe go with everything they're even really good for workwear as well so yeah really really like them and then also something else i thought that could go with that little sort of like co-ord suit um attire was this black knitted scallop top so it's just a really cute crop top it's in like a knitted fabric it's got this cute scallop like edging to it um and this was only 12.99 i believe yeah 12.99 so i just thought that you know if you're going to wear that for like sort of like evening drinks with the girls you could put this little bralette underneath make it a little bit more dressier heels clutch bag it would look so stunning they did have this in a baby blue on the website but it was sold out which i was really really gutted about because i thought that would have looked really stunning with the white shorts but i mean it was sold out 
So guys, I just thought I'd do a quick voiceover because I couldn't actually get the trousers on. Oh dear. I couldn't even get my foot through them, guys. Like, I don't even know what was going on with Zara's sizing with them trousers. I swear I would have needed the large. Um, but yeah, they were ridiculous. So, so gutted about that because they looked so, so nice as well. Um, but yeah, this is the blazer and the scallop top and I really, really love these two. The next two pieces that I picked up, I sort of, again, combined to make an outfit. And this, for me, was sort of more of a daytime casual outfit when the weather's a bit, like, meh. You know? Do you know when the weather's just sort of, like, not hot, not cold? Do you know when you just never know what to wear on them sorts of days? I thought this could be perfect. So the first thing I picked up were these sort of, like, nylon joggers. Now, the fabric of these is so strange. They're nylon. So if you don't know what nylon is, they're basically, like... Do you know what? That sort of like shell suit fabric. I don't know if you're gonna know what that means, but like, yeah, they're very sort of like plasticky basically. They're dead strange, but I don't know. I just thought it was something a little bit different because normally like my trousers are in like cotton or polyester. So yeah, just thought it was a different fabric for the bottom half, something a little bit different. Um, they're elasticated at the bottom and they also have this sort of like seat belt belt detailing at the top. Thought that was quite cute. $25.99, got them in an extra small, and then to go with it, I just simply got this sort of like high neck um, white racer top. Looks like this, it's in a rib fabric, it was only $4.99, I got that in a size small. I just thought them two team together would look really stunning. Pair of trainers, you could even wear heels in a blazer. Um, yeah, thought it'd be a little bit of a look. Moving on to the next thing I picked up with, again, I thought this could be something sort of like summer summer appropriate but getting it out of the box and realizing the fabric it is that fabric that just creases you are constantly having to iron it so i already just know that this will be sent back because i'm not here for ironing i hate ironing and yes i can avoid buying things that need iron constant ironing constantly then i will um anyway it looks stunning on the website but it's going to look absolutely nothing showing this to you because it's just a hot creased up mess but it is this beautiful little beige dress nice sleeves on it um sort of like utility style with the pockets either side and then it has like a d-ring belt to cinch you in i will try and make this look a bit more presentable and try it on just so you can see it because obviously hanging it up is going to do nothing but yeah i got this in a size small we will see what that looks like on okay first of all can we talk about how creased this is like, i just think it should always be freshly steamed Obviously when you get an item you like to try it on and you don't want to have to iron it or steam it because what if you're not going to keep it? So I just think when items come so like dishevelled and crease like this, it's so hard for you know someone to determine whether you want to keep it because you really can't tell an awful lot when something's so creased. I can actually see that I do quite like this. I feel like if this was creased, I think this would look a really nice sort of like utility dress. However, this fabric would be an absolute nightmare. It is that fabric that as soon as you put it in the wash, it is going to come out all crumpled and just... They're just things that I find really hard to iron and keep creases out. So for me, I wouldn't keep it just down to the fabric. Um, even though I feel like if it was ironed, it would look pretty nice. The next thing I picked up was a jumpsuit. Now, I never normally buy jumpsuits from Zara because whenever I've bought them in the past, they are always just massive on me. Like, they're just too big on the crotch area, just too long, and judging by this one, I feel like this is going to be exactly the same, so anyway, go and have a trial, um, I picked up this beige jumpsuit, it actually looks more cream on the website, but it does, it does stay beige, so that's my bad, um, but yeah, it's just simply this sort of like strappy jumpsuit, it's, it's sort of like stringy at the top, and then crosses over on the back like that, I don't know, on the website this just looks so stunning, it's got pockets, sort of like wide leg, my typical style, but again, it's in that fabric that creases massively and also the straps just look massive, so I don't think this is going to fit, um, but yeah, so it's $29.99 and I got it in an extra small. Okay, so again, I thought I'd come on the camera for this one because as I really said in the previous clips, I knew this was just not going to fit me. Like, as soon as I got this out of the box and just sort of hung it up, I just knew the straps looked way too long. This is definitely not for a short person or a middle height person. This is definitely for a tall person because honestly, like, oh God, sorry, flashing you there. These straps are just absolutely ridiculous. Like, there is so much room in these straps. It's just, yeah, yeah, I hate this. And also, to be honest with you, I really don't like the fabric of this. It's that fabric that just creases up like there's no tomorrow. It'd be an absolute nightmare. So, yeah, 
Fortunately, another no, this looked amazing on the website, but it just goes to show that sometimes things can look so, so stunning in a picture, but then when you get it, it's just a different story. So the next thing I picked up was this cute little bag. Oh my goodness, how stunning is this bag, guys? So as you can see, it's this beautiful sort of pearl bucket bag. It's got a little like, handle here it's just embellished with pearls and these little silver studs in between the pearls it is so so beautiful do you know like when you have like a plain outfit on let's say a black dress and you just want that little statement bag i just thought this would be so cute for that i feel like it would go with quite a lot of things and just make a sort of plainish outfit look a little bit dressier so in true laura fashion saving the best till last and possibly one of the most blingiest things I have in my wardrobe right now. And it is this beautiful sequin blazer dress. Oh my goodness, I'm just so shocked. So, like I said, I'm going on holiday in October and I always feel like whenever I go away, I like to pack one thing that I just feel a million dollars in. It's just like a standout dress, a real statement and yeah. Do you ever just have that one item of clothing that you put on and just feel so lovely in and it's just makes you feel happy well that is that dress for me so it's sort of like a beigey base with these silver sequins just scattered everywhere on it is so so stunning it has these sort of like balloon puffy sleeves and um, it's elasticated at the bottom of the sleeve um and yeah it's sort of a blazer style that's how it's described on the website and then it also has a gorgeous embellished belt that wraps around I'm gonna then be able to cinch you in i feel like this is gonna look so stunning on um i feel like this will make a stunning dress for like a special occasion you could save it till christmas if you are looking for a christmas dress now is the time to buy because this won't be around at christmas it would make an amazing birthday dress just one of those dresses it's great to have in the wardrobe for a lovely occasion so yeah obsessed with this oh my god it also has a beautiful embellished button on it that sort of like um, attaches one half of the blazer to the other. So again, this definitely wasn't the cheapest dress in the world. It was £89.99, so £90 roundabouts. Um, but yeah, absolutely love this and I also got this in a size extra small. So yeah, that brings us to the end of this Zara haul. I really, really hope you have enjoyed it, guys. Let me know your favourite items down below. I am going to list all of the items in the description bar, but all the links will actually be on my 21 buttons. Obviously, unfortunately, Zara don't do affiliate links. So like I said, I will list all of the names and the article numbers of the items in the description bar. Um, but if you want like actual links, and if you head over to my 21 buttons, I will upload every single outfit on there, so then you can get direct links. And also, it helps girl out if you shop through there because I earn a small commission. So yeah, obviously I would really, really appreciate if you use them links. Anyway, I'm gonna go and stop rambling. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Give this video a big thumbs up and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.